My name's True Alessandra. I'm promoting a program called Peaceful Driving, Peaceful Defenseless Driving, and I'm wanting to find out from people around the country and in Hot Springs, what do they think about three little things that would help me get it in the right terminology. Okay. The first one is, what do you think about stopping throughout the day, just period? Um, no, usually I have to finish something. If I start something, I have to finish, so I try not to stop and do something. Um, if I have to, it kind of, I guess, bugs me. I don't kind of. Okay. <laughs> All right. So say, then, I don't know. So let's go, to the sec let's go to the second part, which is what you jump to. What about stop signs and red lights? How do you deal with those? Um, well, I mean, I guess I stop at them. Um, I see a lot of actual cops not stopping at stop signs. Uh -huh. um, that's a big problem, especially right next to my house. Right. In your mind, what's going on in your mind when you're sitting there at a red light? It's going one minute, two minutes. Yeah. It's a hard one. Okay. So you're not sure what you do. Are you impatient, do you think, at a red light or a stop sign? Oh, very. Okay. Very. Okay. Especially, they, I feel like they take way too long. You, when you're sitting there and no cars are coming and it's still red and it just sits there. I'm very, very impatient. Beautiful. <laughs> and this one is peaceful driving. What does that term mean to you? What would you think it, how, would, how does it fit for you? How do you understand that? Um, I guess whenever I think of like peaceful driving, I think of people actually using their blinkers and being nice and not honking at people for no reason. Um, I tend to be a pretty peaceful driver, I think, most of the time, unless somebody's doing something that they're not supposed to do while driving, then I'm not too nice. Amazing, amazing, Kristen. <laughs> and so lastly, there's a lot of emphasis on defensive driving in our efforts to get people to drive better. What do you think about defensive driving as a way to get safe driving on the road? I think it's good. Um, you really need to be, def like, you need to drive defensive, especially with how many crazy drivers there are out there. You always have to be on the lookout for if somebody's not stopping or going too fast or cutting you off or just anything. You always have to be defensive while driving. Okay. Do you think having a positive, peaceful attitude or a defensive, fearful attitude when you get behind the wheel is better? I mean, I guess it just kind of depends on different times. Like, they're both good. Um, I feel like I'm pretty peaceful, but I also have to be defensive at the same time. Um, I think anybody needs to be defensive when they're behind the wheel and somebody else is driving such a big vehicle or something. Then you, I feel like you need to be defensive. All right. Okay, well, you've given us some great feedback from your life, Kristen. Thank, thank you. you. And uh, we have some videos online. I'll, and uh, we have some videos online. I'll show you a little card that has some of that info on it, possibly. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, there's one that uh, this gentleman edited, the awesome piece on the streets in Hot Springs, and another fellow in Savannah did that one. Okay. And you could, those are, you know, YouTube videos. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you, Kristen, for taking a few minutes out of your day. Yeah, no problem. All right. I'm a founder of a program called Peaceful Defenseless Driving. I've been interviewed around the country for different things so related to driving. But first question is, how do you deal with stopping in your day, period, whether you're driving or not? Like, do you take time to stop? How do you deal with stopping in your daily life? In my daily life, well, I'm, I got a busy schedule, really, really busy schedule, I, with two jobs and a business. So, any moment that I got time to stop, it just gets lost. Because I work 16 hours per day, plus I own a business. So, it never ends for me. So, it's, so anytime I got a time to stop, it just literally relaxes me. So you try to stop during the day? Well, the only time I stop is to go to sleep. Okay, so talking about the driving experience, when you get in your car and you come to a stop sign or a red light, how do you deal with that in your mind, or how do you physically deal with stopping at a red light or stop sign? Uh, well, uh, I just have to stop and make sure that everybody, I'm not, not getting into accidents or get nobody in a wreck. Uh -huh. So that's what is how I need to stop and look everywhere for other drivers. Okay. Do you feel uh, 
What do you do in your mind when you're sitting there at a red light that's going like two minutes or longer? What kind of thoughts are going through your head? Work. Work? Work. Okay. I have to make it on time to work. Yeah. I have to make sure that everything is, is paying on my bills. Okay. So, everyday life. Okay. But also I'm looking for how other people drive. Okay. You never know who is behind me and what is sometimes they're in the party and accidents happen. Right, right. Okay, the last question. Peaceful driving, what does that mean to you? I can say it's when you don't have no worries. Oh, no worries, huh? No worries when everything is stabilize in your life. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, everything in life is on the party, 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 party. Right. So what would you say is better for you, in your opinion, peaceful driving or defensive driving? Peaceful. Ah. That's kind of what we wanted to hear, but we don't want you to say anything that you're not, you know, really in fact in sync with. Yeah. So uh, what would defensive driving mean as far as your understanding of it? It's promoted pretty heavily. Defense and driving is, I, in my opinion, is when sometimes you not think about others and you are in the hurry to go somewhere to work, to the store, you name it. And you are going at a fa fast speed. So, Wendy Armando, thank you for giving us a few minutes of your time here at Angel's Restaurant in Hot Springs National Park. <laughs> okay, Jay, my name is True Alessandro. I'm a peaceful driving proponent and teaching it myself, to myself. And I wanted to ask you today, just in general, the first question is, what is stopping life for you during the day, apart from driving? When your day gets going, you get out of bed, what do you think about stopping during the day? Uh, stopping, I guess, I'm, I'm typically more of a go, go, go kind of person, so uh -huh. stopping is usually not something that I think about. Okie dokie. Yeah. Okay. Car now, what about red lights and stop signs? How do you deal with those since they're, they're in our life? Yeah, um, I, I usually try to keep them in mind always and then um, like for stoplights, I always try to look ahead and make sure that um, if it's a yellow light, I'm going to go ahead and start slowing down and um, instead of speeding up like some people do. Jay, so. remarkable for a young person. <laughs> uh, where are you, about 20? 18. 18, look at that, a young lady like that. And so uh, what about at a red light that seems to be lasting quite a while? You're sitting there at the red light, it's not changing. How do you, in your head, or physically deal with that? Uh, I'm, I'm usually listening to music, and so music usually kind of keeps me uh, a little bit more mellowed out and patient with traffic. Because if I'm listening to a good song, you know, it's okay if I'm sitting at a red light because I can listen to the song more. I go with you on that. Yeah, I sometimes do drum rhythms on my stereo. Yeah. And the last one is peaceful driving or defensive driving. Which do you prefer, or do you know what peaceful driving looks like in 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 reality? Uh, I'm not entirely sure about peaceful driving, but I, I try to be a pretty defensive driver. So. Uh huh. Okay. So this is the way I would put the spin on it. Would you rather get in your car and be proactive for being a good? happy camper driver or be defensive and kind of worried that something's going to happen? I would rather be peaceful about it. Okay. All right. Well, that's our questions for you, Jay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, did you put a... Courtney, okay. as I uh -huh. said, my name's True Alessandra, okay. developer of the, True. Peace, the Peaceful Driving okay. Program. Did you have... You, did you used to have long hair? Yeah. Yeah, I've did lived you? in Hot Springs okay. since 95. Okay, 90, did, um, this is wild. This is so wild. Edward. You're who I think you are. Did you uh, used to work at Libby Hill Spa for yeah. a while? Yeah, I've worked, okay. I've worked at the Arlington, the Majestic, and the Hill. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you know someone named Lucinda Crest? Absolutely. That's my mom. Oh, phenomenal. <laughs>
This is the young girl who I used to uh, go and stay at her mom's every now and then to trade a massage. No, Courtney! The first question is, how do you deal with stopping during the day? You know, not necessarily really the driving, just... Usually annoyed with it. You're annoyed with stopping or having to stop? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course. All right. And then, and then the next thing is, what about stop signs and red lights? How do you deal with those? Oh, stop all the way, make sure to obey the law. So, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And just uh, keep going, for, you know, make sure everybody else is, you know, if you're not the first one there, see who was there first. And all right. Depending on the road rules. So. Right. And you're at a stoplight and it's going quite long. What do you do in your mind or with yourself? Usually turn the music up louder. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Do you sing along with it? Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right. And lastly, Courtney, what about peaceful or defensive driving? Which would you be more in favor of? What do you think makes more I sense for you? I think it'd always be better to be more peaceful than, than angry because there are a lot of angry people in this world, unfortunately. So. Oh, oh. And so uh, defensive driving correlates with anger for you, huh? Well, Indianapolis is pretty crazy when it comes to traffic. So. Indianapolis 500's there, right? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> That's right. anger drivers right there. Right, okay. So what suggestion would you have, this is the last question, I hadn't asked anybody else this, to have safer, happier experiences on the roadway, what do you think is the most important thing? Uh, leave the house early. All right. Yeah. Leave Great. the house early. <laughs> okay, Courtney, I promise you wouldn't last more than three or four minutes. No, Thank you, and this is so phenomenal running that into is you. That's hilarious. Yep. So this is uh, Tyler? Yes. Tyler, my name's True Alessandra, nice the developer of what you call peaceful driving. Okay. Peaceful defenseless driving, actually. So first of all, okay. how do you deal with stops in your life in general? Forget about the car. The opportunity to stop, is it a welcome thing? or Well, you, I mean, I think, that, I think it's overlooked a lot. So, yeah. you know, people are always in a rush nowadays. You got things to do. Like, as a student, I would say that there's not a whole lot of, like, peacefulness. So, okay. yeah, I would say, yeah, not a welcoming day. Okay, what about your friend? Stopping. Uh, not not I mean, necessarily for driving, just stopping in general. Oh, my gosh, putting me on the spot here. I, uh, yeah, a lot of people, like, are in a rush and I mean for driving too like I'm pretty sure most people do a rolling stop like that's just like a normal thing but I know okay so <laughs> so go ahead and talk about your stop sign and red light <laughs> oh, and how that, how that comes across well, I just got a ticket the other day so uh, probably not the best person to talk to for it was actually for speeding oh okay busted <laughs> okay yeah. busted yeah there you go well I'm a reformed. What about you, Tyler? I mean, come I up feel, to a red light or stop. Yeah, I feel like I'm a pretty obedient. I don't, you know, roll it or run anything. Yeah. I mean, I've never gotten a ticket. So, yeah, I would say I'm a pretty decent driver. So, what what's in your mind when you're sitting at a red light and it's going and going? Uh, and going? Well, I feel like my mom, man, when she sits at a red light, like she'll just get so annoyed. I'm like, just take it easy. It's just we're just sitting here. It's you know, take another 30 seconds. It's not the end of the world. So. Yeah, um, I feel like a lot of people are, you know, really upset. Personally, I just, it's just a red light. Like, you'll, it'll turn green in a little bit, so. Right. Well, you think, is there something productive you do with your red light time? Uh, no. No? Yeah, I mean, if you're listening to music, yeah, but I'm not like, I wouldn't say there's anything productive other than just sitting there and looking around, so, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, our last, uh, uh, okay, our last question is, peaceful or defensive driving, which would you say is something you're more into or think should be promoted more? And doesn't matter what I'm into, what do you think? I mean, he feels good, but I'd say defensive too, because like, it's always like the other guy, like that's what my parents always tell me, like it's the other person that's going to make the mistake, not you, even though, yeah, I make mistakes too, but. <laughs> yeah, I think I would use the term offensive driving. You got to be self-aware of what's going around, so I would go with the word defensive. Wow. Okay, so what do you think would be the thing that would make life happier on the road? Happy motoring or safe driving? What would be the thing that would contribute more to that? I mean, I agree with you on the distraction, like even music and stuff too, even though I do that. But like, um, yeah, just like being more aware and not like doing, like 
being dedicated to doing what you're doing in that moment. Like you're driving, so like be dedicated to doing that, not like a million other things, million other things. But well, yeah. well, it seems to me that the main thing that is promoted is more of a like fearful driving. You know, watch out for the rage driver type deal. <laughs> Instead of you being a proponent of kindness and right. good vibes on the road. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. I definitely agree with that statement. No, there's uh, uh, yeah, that is something that's interesting, you know, to bring up. You know, I don't think anyone's ever thought about that. That you know, maybe we should just be focused on yourself, you know, not focused on other people. So obviously, you're not going to promote driving like a maniac, like you said. You'd want to promote, you know, doing, you know, like driving well. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Let me get All right, Michelle, I'm true oh, Alessandra. I I'm into this program called Peaceful Driving that I was inspired by a traffic judge to get into. Okay. What do you think about driving peacefully? Or what's your stance on that? Well, my stance is that I think people should drive the same way they are in person whenever people are driving, they're very rude. And I think they should treat people the same way in cars as they do in person. Wow. So what about defensive driving, which is a heavily promoted program these days? Yeah, well, defensive driving is a good thing because you always want to watch out for the other guy. And people always forget that they're in a 2,000-pound vehicle uh -huh. and that they're in such a hurry to get there. But if they get in a wreck, they're not going any place. Wow, Michelle. And, okay, stop signs and red lights. How do you deal with them? Uh, you need to stop. And it doesn't take that long, really, uh, 30 seconds at most. And then it's a good time to just kind of relax and, you know, maybe be mindful about what's going on and just kind of think about your day and stuff like that. We all need to stop going, going, going so much. Oh, so that was the next question I was going to say. Stopping in general throughout your day, what do you think about it? Do you have time or do you want to do it? Or I mean, I try to like? make time. You make time to stop during yep. the day, whether you're driving or not? Actually, I make time to stop and smell the roses. And so what do you do in your stop time? Last I question. think about things. I meditate. Um, I think about things to be grateful for and stuff like that. And just kind of slow things down a little bit and just kind of have, be, uh, be happy, basically. This girl's already got it. Well, here, <laughs> I've got a little card for you. Okay. This is one of the little starting off pieces of my eight steps to driving peacefully. Okay. Step one, leave your home with your head on your shoulders and you got all your ducks lined up. Right. So when you get halfway down the road, you don't have to turn around like I did on I-95 in Florida. <laughs> and remember, I left my camera bag in the public store. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. I know, because I was I went to get a massage earlier and I actually was in such a rush because we were running late that I couldn't find my purse. I had hung it up on the hook already. And I'm like, where's my purse? And I was frantic, and it was already there the whole time. Right. So here I'm stressing myself out when I already had it in the first place. Yeah, so yeah, those things are going to affect our drive if we're... Absolutely. Oh, there's stuff going on That's in our right. head. All right, well...